conditions. Here is Kenny Rice, who is trackside, to talk about handicapping these races. One of the sure things here tonight at Rosecrop, before people lay down their $2, you're going to take a final look and see about the morning line. See who the handicapper thought was favorite. And they're also going to take a look at this man and see who he likes. Tom Berry. Now, you do not set the morning line here, Tom, but you also have a column that is included in the program. So, in a sense, you're, you're handicapping the race. That's right. I, right it's called Hub Rail Comments. I use uh, basic half-mile track handicapping techniques, post position, class, and, of course, the, the current sharpness, current form of the horse I look into quite closely. I make these comments. What I'm doing... With a prediction, I'm giving a reason why I'm picking that horse or a reason why I'm not picking that horse. Now, Tom, you said exclusively here for Rosecroft setting the handicapping. How does this differ when a 5H winner comes in, a one-mile winner? How do you use the intangibles coming off that race to set up the race for a half mile? I take a look at a horse, a uh, horse on a big track, uh, three turns on a 5H track, two turns on a mile track. If, if a horse is making breaks up there, I kind of stay away from them. Uh, you know, when they hit the four turns, sharper turns, a half mile track, there's a good chance they might make a break again. Uh, the kind of horse I like coming off a big track is a front ender that maybe has been last and, uh, you know, most of the way. Uh, top of the stretch on a mile track, uh, and then it gets beat coming down a stretch. Well, here, half mile track, sharper turns and whatnot. Uh, he might get a little braver on his first start. And certainly it's going to be interesting tonight to see how these Breeders' Crown fillies like it. Who do you like in the Breeders' Crown? I got to go with Fancy Crown. She showed a ton of gate speed at Delaware. She was down a quarter in 27 and 2. I think that could be the difference. I think she might just shoot right onto the top, not look back. Thank you very much, Tom Barry. I know a lot of people are going to be getting your comments to see who you like in the Breeders' Crown, which is Fancy Crown. Thanks, Kenny.